Hello again, this is Hiro Uzuki with part 3 of my Mobile Suit Gundam Encounters in Space Let's Play, the game in which, so long as you're outside of neutral territory, even if only just, you're free to destroy whoever and whatever you want. It is important that you keep in mind that you must be outside of neutral territory, even if only just. And speaking of destroying things, let's continue with the story and destroy more Xeon forces. The Space Fortress Solomon. Forward base of Xeon Space Attack Force. Sounds its important. Its fall would secure the Federation's counteroffensive. Very important. The Tianum Second Fleet joins the assault, transporting a new weapon from Jaburo. An ominous weapon. The conquest of Solomon is at hand. Neat. It's a shame those guys on that ship aren't going to make it. Commandant Wakane's Third Fleet will lead the attack on Solomon. Its task will be to engage and exhaust the enemy's defensive units until Commandant Tianum's main fleet arrives to join the attack. Serve your strength. Or at least die trying. Let's do it. Let's do this like Buddhists. Except I don't think Buddhists murderize people. L let's let's Remember, do this Solomon, thing. Be cautious in your attacks. All right, let's get this thing started. The fleet will advance on Solomon. Public units launching. Be interference field deployed. All ships, prepare for missile attack! Launch mobile suit teams! Attack! Fire! I can support you! No, no need to worry. Yet. All right, have fun with that. A very ominous weapon. The solar array. This is what we could do with solar panels. Just keep that in mind. Solomon's burning up. This is the Federation's new weapon. It's wildly impractical, and I, if I remember correctly, it comes back to bite them in the ass later down the line. didn't have plot armor on. Yes, sir. Sorry, not sorry. I shouldn't say that.
Can someone turn on the lights, please? Thank you. I can't get in, but I'll support you from here. You do that. <laughs> I gotta hand it to myself, I'm pretty good. Such shameless self-promotion. It's good for you. Da, da, da. Let me in. Thank you. Where's the enemy? It's the Gundam. We'll keep on. Maybe don't do that. You don't have plot armor. hurt me. I bruise easily, like a banana. appreciate about this particular stage is that it can go any number of ways. There are so many different ways you can play this this mission, so many different routes you can end up taking. we were dealing with the Zanzibar ship. In another round, we could have ended up just completely annihilating a storage facility.
of shooting. Shoot at everything that flies and or stand still. But you know, feel free to stand still for me. That makes my shots more likely to land. Thank you. Something's over there. Ominous. Very. Also, you guys don't have plot armor, so bye. Exam. The first thing you think of when you think mobile armor. Typically. No, beams don't have any effect on it. It's too strong for us. Channel that protagonist power, Amaro. <laughs> I told you those guys weren't gonna make it. <laughs> See, once the big Zom is mass produced, we'll put an end to the Federation in no time. Once the big Zom is mass produced, we'll put an end to the Federation in no time. There! Yeah, you just now noticed that I tried shooting at with beam rifle. Pretty sure mobile armor can't really dodge like that, but okay. <laughs> He's working some serious black magic to make that thing move like that. I don't know, I don't seem to be getting you with this. You mean we'll have to move closer to have a chance of getting through that magnetic field? Suicide run, go. It sounds pretty desperate, but this is what war is like. Below, anti-air defenses. Seems pretty limited. This is what you need Vulcans for. They got him! Ah, did the field generator get hit? Yup. About no. I kind of like being black, so no flames for me, please. Okay, 
Okay, I think that takes care of the, uh, the Rick Doms. Beam spam. Small and maneuverable. I won't let a punk like you beat me. Huh? Who is this guy? What's that? An escaped gorilla. I will never let a punk like you beat me. Never. I'm not. Space Ghost got you. There's nothing we can do for Solomon now. We'd best move ahead to Texas Colony and resume the fight there. Both sides had suffered great losses when the Battle of Solomon was finally over. Dozel Zabi was killed in action, while the White Base lost the respected Lieutenant Slager Law. He will not be forgotten. Were great, but we can Yet. Be thankful we saved the Lady Zena and Princess Mineva. Names to remember, or at least one of them. Anyway, with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and stop here while the stopping's good. So, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, then consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, leaving a comment, and hitting that bell to stay updated with more videos from me. With that, this is Hiro Izuki, signing off. And you know, now that I think about it, I really shouldn't call Dozel an escaped gorilla. He's actually a nice guy. Just... circumstances. It's the way of war.